Welcome to EML Micro, a professional learning series brought to you by the Modern Learning Team at the Peel District School Board. Today we look at design thinking, a student-centered model of learning to help facilitate relevant and authentic exploration of inspiring ideas, to develop innovative solutions, and to disrupt traditional thinking. Design thinking is a cognitive, strategic, and practical approach by which human-centered solutions are developed through an empathy lens. Learners can begin the process with open questions, or educators can supply students with a theme, idea, or overall learning goal. Then, learners can follow a pathway of gathering inspiration to create, generating ideas, creating prototypes, testing and reflecting, and sharing their discoveries. There can be a wide range of interesting outcomes, such as forward-thinking anti-oppressive action plans, persuasive and disruptive multimedia campaigns, helpful software solutions, or innovative inventions. The best part is, whether students reach their goal or have a series of missteps, this multi-day pathway will present countless opportunities for student agency, acquisition of transferable skills, and development of a growth mindset. Now, let's look at a few ways to get started with design thinking by finding ways to spark your students' curiosity. The UN Sustainable Development Goals are a series of global ideas acting as a blueprint to achieve a better and more sustainable future for all by 2030. The global goals have hundreds of active campaigns for learners to engage with, such as the Earthshot Prize, the World's Largest Lesson, and the Internet for All initiative. Visit their website to get inspired and find out more at sdgs.un.org. Canadians are actively engaged in this progressive process and have begun designing solutions around all 17 UN Sustainable Development Goals. Learners can join a local initiative around gender equality, clean water initiatives, or creating strong and accountable institutions. For up-to-date information and data around Canadian contributions to the UN Global Goals, please visit bit.ly forward slash find the spark hyphen SDG hyphen capital CDN hyphen infographics. The Ontario Anti-Black Racism Strategy is an important set of Canadian objectives that learners can participate in through the design thinking model. The strategy involves targeting systematic racism in policies, decisions, and programs to help Canadians move towards long-term systematic change. Several global campaigns, such as Say Her Name and The Conscious Kid, add additional entry points for learners to develop anti-oppressive solutions and disrupt traditional thinking. To find out more, please visit ontario.ca forward slash anti-racism, theconsciouskid.org, and aapf.org forward slash say her name. Using these and other provocations to begin developing human-centered, empathy-driven solutions through the design thinking process with students, there are many iterations of the model available. The NASA JPL engineering design process, the PBS climate action model, and the Google design sprint are some examples. For today, we will be focusing on the six stages of the EML Design Thinking Canvas as a pathway for modern learners. When learners are asked to find the spark, they identify provoking questions that will inspire them to seek out innovative ideas and creative solutions, and is a great opportunity to dive deeper into the academic areas of global studies, literacy, and business studies. With their spark locked in, Learners will be asked to find inspiration to create. They'll dive into new ideas by understanding the needs of the user from an empathy lens. This is a great opportunity to dive into the academic areas of media, literacy, and global studies. With their spark in hand and their empathy map complete, learners will then begin generating ideas. They'll look to go beyond typical solutions to locate the innovative ideas that will change the world. This is a good opportunity to dive into the academic areas of numeracy, the arts, global studies, literacy, science, and business studies. With their innovative ideas, learners will then make prototypes. They'll build rough versions of their ideas for experimenting and iterating. Could they invent a gadget? Perhaps organize a team? Maybe code an app? This is a great opportunity to dive into the academic areas of numeracy, literacy, the arts, science, and computer sciences. 
Learners will then be asked to test and learn from the prototypes they're creating. They'll move forward by testing solutions with the user, changing prototypes based on feedback, and critically thinking about unintended variables. This is a great time to dive into the academic areas of numeracy, science, literacy, and computer sciences. Once the design thinking process has run its course, it'll be time for modern learners to share their discoveries. They'll publicize their journey in a way that inspires others to take action. This is an excellent time to dive deeper into the academic areas of literacy, media, the arts, global studies, and business studies. To take a deeper look at the Design Thinking Canvas and to access the Graphic Organizer set, please visit bit.ly forward slash design hyphen thinking hyphen canvas hyphen PDF or bit.ly forward slash design hyphen thinking hyphen canvas hyphen slides. We hope you enjoyed today's learning. Please feel free to share your inspirational ideas with your professional learning network using hashtag PeelEML. Thanks for listening.